The Most Magnificent Thing, written by Ashley Spires, creatively read by Miss Jill. This book is written for all the little perfectionists of the world. This is a regular girl and her best friend in the whole world. They do all kinds of things together. They race, they eat, they explore, and they relax. She makes things. He unmakes things. <laughs> One day, the girl has a wonderful idea. She is going to make the most magnificent thing. She knows just how it will look, and she knows just how it will work. All she has to do is make it, and she makes things all the time, so easy peasy. First things first, she hires an assistant. Next, they gather their supplies. They set up somewhere out of the way to work. The girl tinkers, hammers, and measures, while her assistant pounces and growls and chews. When she's finished, she steps back to admire her work. She walks around one side, and her assistant examines the other side. It doesn't look right. Her assistant picks it up and gives it a shake. It doesn't feel right either. They are shocked to discover that the thing isn't magnificent or good. It isn't even kind of sort of okay. It's all wrong. The girl tosses it aside and gives it another go. She smooths and wrenches and fiddles. Her assistant circles and tugs and wags. When she's finished, she stands up and takes a long look at it. Her assistant gives it a nudge with its paw. Hmm, the thing is still wrong. She decides to try again. The girl saws and glues and adjusts. She stands and examines and stares. She twists and tweaks and fastens. She fixes and straightens and studies. She tries all different ways to make it better. She makes it square. She makes it round. She gives it legs. She even adds antenna. She makes it fuzzy. She makes it long, short, rough, smooth, big, small. One even smells a stinky cheese, but none of them are magnificent. Her hard work attracts a few admirers, but they don't understand. They can't see the magnificent thing that she has in her mind, and she gets mad. The angrier she gets, the faster she works. She smashes pieces into shapes. She jams parts together and she pummels little bits in. Her hands feel too big to work and her brain is too full of the not right things. Ah, if only the thing would just work, crunch. Oh. The pain starts in her finger, but it rushes up to her brain and she explodes. It is not her finest moment. Ah. No good at this. I quit. Her assistant suggests a walk. Mm, it's not much help at first. But before long, she starts to feel different. Bit by bit, the mad gets pushed out of her head. As they stroll along, she comes across the first wrong thing that she made. The bad feelings are about to start all over again. Then she notices something surprising. There are some parts of the wrong things that are really quite right. The bolts on one and the shape of another. The wheels to seat ratio of the next, yes. They are all sorts of parts that she likes. By the time she reaches the end of the trail, she finally knows how to make the thing magnificent. She gets to work. She works carefully, slowly, tinkering, hammering, twisting, 
fiddling, gluing, and painting. Her assistant makes sure there's no distractions. God, this is perfect thing for warding off them bears. Ah, oh, this will stop the leaks. I wonder if I can have it. Ew, this one's all wet. The afternoon turns into evening. Finally, she finishes. She alerts her assistant. The pair take a good, long look. It leans a little to the left and is a bit heavier than expected. The colors could use a bit of work, too, but it's just what she wanted. They climb aboard and take it for a spin. They are not disappointed. It really is the most magnificent thing. The end. If you want to be kept up to date when I post more books, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Click that notification bell and you'll be kept up to date. Thanks. It's free.